There's a, a new program. It was actually uh, launched in September, although there were years in the making uh, for it. It's called the Cardio Prevent uh, Program at the Ottawa University Heart Institute. Uh, joining us from there, Bob Reed and Jessica Nguyen. Great to have the two of you on the show. Morning, Leanne. Morning. Uh, and, and a wonderful program. And, and while it was launched in September, there was a lot of work that went into this prior to. Yeah, this is a program that we started about uh, six or seven years ago, looking at the risk within family members of patients with heart disease, uh, because often there are patients of tomorrow, if you will, uh, and looking at how we might be able to reduce that more effectively. So we developed a, an intervention to do that. Okay, so what exactly the, does the program entail? So really when we look at the risk of heart disease, we can, we can identify uh, eight or nine different factors that are really important. People's cholesterol, blood pressure, whether they're diabetic or not, but also how much physical activity they get, their dietary habits, uh, and also how much stress they have in their life. Looking at kind of a composite of those things, we can develop a profile of who might be at risk for heart disease and then try to do something about that. Okay, well there's viewers at home right now who could probably go on that checklist and go, yep, yep, you know, and, and check yeah. this off. So how do they actually take that step from understanding that they have risk factors and then getting into a program like this? Well, it starts with an assessment of the risk factors and some of them we actually have to measure through blood tests or they can have them done to their physician. Others we can measure with paper, paper and pencil tests. But uh, once we know what the risk profile is, then we can develop a customized program to do that. And that's the kind of work that Jessica does. So, uh, you know, you, you get these people, either they're coming in kicking and screaming, some of them maybe, but uh, their physicians or their family members have said, listen, you need to get into something like this. So what happens then? So typically what happens when they get into the program is um, we as the coach um, sit down and talk about some of the risk factors and there's also the education uh, the educational piece as well. Part of what our role is is to bridge the knowledge gaps as well. So have people understand their health needs, um, connect with them, connect them with the right resources in the community and ultimately help reduce their risk of developing heart disease. Um, whether it's through you know, improved nutrition, improved physical activity, helping them quit smoking or providing them with the right resources to quit smoking, um, you know, understand the complexities around blood pressure, cholesterol, and ultimately help them become advocates of their own health. Yeah, it was funny because we were talking about how often you would meet and you know, even the stress of having to head down there in the middle of the day or make an appointment and find parking can be stressful in itself. You really act as a, uh, as a facilitator too to whatever area of the city or whatever different programs are available for them where they live. Exactly. I mean, the whole point of this program is, this, is to promote lifestyle change. Uh, we're not looking for any sort of uh, short-term fixes. We're looking for, for them to, again, um, you know, gain ownership of their health. We want them out of the Heart Institute um, and we want them to be, you know, model citizens for, you know, not only themselves but their family members and other individuals in the community. You have a great uh, story right now of a yes. woman that's, uh, that's with you right now. Yeah, so we've, we've experienced quite a bit of success through this program and uh, this one particular participant that's, uh, that stands out, uh, she was very ambivalent getting into this program because it's a referral, a physician referral based program. Uh, you know, a lot of individuals don't necessarily want to join because they want to, but rather because they feel like they have to. Um, so she was very ambivalent. She had a numerous risk factors, including high cholesterol, physically inactive, not eating, you know, a heart-healthy diet. And, um, you know, after six months of the intervention, she's managed to, you know, um, uh, reduce her cholesterol by 1.5 points. Um, improve or reduce her blood pressure by 15 points and lose over 25 pounds. Um, and she's reduced her risk of heart disease by over 30 percent. So she is ambivalent know. now or she actually no, kind of walks in, she's, she's on very board. Motivated. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you're hoping to see from this is that, you know, people take ownership and, and especially coming off of factors that, you know, they couldn't foresee actually happening until they're actually needing the Heart Institute. Yeah, and I think, I think the other important part is we try to work in partnership with their primary care doctor because uh, in many cases, uh, the physician will also be important in terms of helping to lower risk factors like cholesterol, blood pressure, as well as diabetic risk. Lots of information right there. They can, they can find more at the auto, at ottawaheart.ca, of course, is, which is the, uh, the website to check into. And uh, speak to your physician. I mean, that's the start right there. Or have your family members, family members of people who may be ambivalent, uh, to be able to make that call as well. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for the Thanks work that's being done.